Welcome to the next installment of the ARI Tech Talk. As usual, we're recording this with an Alexa on SPS Pro cards, and as usual, we're also recording the audio directly onto the Alexa. Um, today, I'll be talking about the Software Update Packet 3.1. Software Update Packet 3.1 has three features. It's compatibility with the Alexa Plus, compatibility with the remote control unit RCU4, and a nice little feature, dual recording. I'll be going through all of those in detail. Let's start with the Alexa Plus. The Alexa Plus comes with software 3.1. And um, of course, you can also use software 3.1 on the regular Alexa if you want to. The Alexa Plus supports the Airy Wireless Remote System. And with the software 3.1, there are a number of components of the Airy Wireless Remote System that we support, starting with the two lens motors. We have our controlled lens motor, CLM2, and then the controlled lens motor, CLM3. This guy is a little smaller and lighter. This guy is a little bigger, but also stronger. This is one of the strongest lens motors in the industry right now. In addition to its strength, it also has a very flexible mounting mechanism here. That is great for many zoom lenses. All right, those are the two motors. Continuing with the alphabet soup, we have the WCU3. This is the Wireless Compact Unit 3 that allows me to pull focus with this knob here and to change the iris with this slider here. Next, we have a zoom unit. This is the zoom unit ZMU3, which I can cable directly into the Alexa Plus. I can also attach this radio here, which is the Wireless Zoom Extension, WZE3, and that way I can be untethered and zoom, talk directly from here to here to the camera. And last but not least, we have the modular every wireless remote system. This is the wireless main unit 3 with the wireless focus iris unit that again allows me to pull focus and change the iris. Now the cool thing about the Alexa Plus is once I have the motors attached to the lens, I can turn the camera on. I can turn my remote control on, and I'm ready to go. There are no more extra boxes, no extra cables. It makes the whole system so much smaller, lighter, and faster than having extra boxes and extra cables. All right, the next feature of the um, software 3.1 is that it supports both the radios. Now, you're going to say, what, do you, what does he mean, both radios? Um, unfortunately, the yellow radio that has been a part of our wireless remote system is not available from the manufacturer anymore. So we have to switch to a new radio, which we've called the white radio. As you can see uh, with the white washer here, that shows you this is a white radio. The Alexa Plus will come with a white radio built in. And we have upgrade kits and downgrade kits for white radio and yellow radio to make this change as painless as possible. Um, the Alexa Plus also has the lens data system. And I have a master prime attached to this camera now. And there's a new button here. It's called the WRS button, the Wireless Remote System button. When I push this button, I get into the Wireless Remote System configuration screen. And then the top right corner here shows me the lens data information. I can now see that this is a 32 millimeter master prime set at T5.6 and 9 tenths. I can see that it's set to 75 centimeters. And if I look at the lens, I see that this is a feet lens. So this is nice. It allows me to see the meters here while the lens itself is set to feet. If I change anything on the lens, of course, the display will continue. All right, so that was compatibility with um, the Alexa Plus. Software 3.1 also gives me compatibility with the remote control unit RCU4. And I have one of those guys here. The RCU4 duplicates the user interface of the Alexa. So once you're familiar with the Alexa user interface, you can also operate the RCU4. And the RCU4 comes with a number of cables. This is the regular 2-meter cable, but there are also extension cables that allow you to go up to 45 meters away from the camera. Now, the RCU4 also has this WRS button. And I can also set the RCU4 to show me the lens information from the lens. It's a very handy feature when the camera is up on a crane, for instance. Last but not least, 
the camera has a new feature, which, as I mentioned before, also now goes for the regular Alexa if you install Software Update 3.1. And that is I can record on two SPS cards at the same time. This is great for making an instantaneous backup. You shoot on two cards at the same time, you take the cards out of the camera, you have a master, and you have your backup automatically. That's it for now, and I'll see you at the next Airy Tech Talk. Thank you.